Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'm going to be running through what I keep in my park bag when I'm going into the Disney parks. It's going to cover a wide variety of essentials that hopefully will maybe help you when you are going into the parks. I find this stuff is um, things that help me for any sort of situation, but still, it doesn't weigh me down or doesn't, you know, give me too much stuff to have on me at all times. I try not to bring too much stuff with me into the parks just because basically you have to carry whatever you're bringing. Let me get into it and I'll show you everything that I bring with me into the parks. A few months ago, me and my husband went to Walt Disney World and it was just me and him. We don't have any children. So we were able to pack a little bit lighter. We'll be using one of these uh, Disney, uh, or usually I will be wearing one of these Disney parks uh, lounge fly bags. On days where we might want to be at, you know, out of our hotel for a longer and we may need to bring maybe a change of clothes or we want to bring a few more things with us, we will bring like a larger bag. Like I have this one and it is also like a lounge fly backpack and it's all Toy Story themed, but this will hold a lot more stuff because it's basically like, um, you know, a full size backpack. But on a normal usual day, I am just bringing in one of my one of my lounge flies here. This is one I got as a gift uh, a couple years ago from the Disney store. I love it because it's all, you know, nice, just standard Mickey and Minnie themed. And it kind of goes with anything that I would be wearing. It's like a neutral color. It goes with everything. And then I on my last trip, I got this Bambi one and I love it so, so much. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this bag actually is the fact that it doesn't actually have any side pockets. You'll see that there's no pockets here, which I kind of find not as useful. Uh, I like having the side pocket because a lot of the times, because like on this one, oh, sorry, my allergies are so bad. You'll see on this one, it does have the side pockets. And I like that because sometimes if like my hands are full and I'm holding my phone, I can quickly just slip my phone here or anything else that I might be holding, I can quickly just pop it in these side pockets, which I couldn't do with, with the Bambi one. So I kind of had to be mindful of that. But I mean, both of the lounge flies, they'll always have some sort of like front pocket. This one's just a snap. And then on this one, you have just the, the zippered front pocket. And then both of them have the zippered, you know, larger um, front butt. For the most part, on my last trip, I was using this one. So I will show you everything that I've got in here. Now, we'll be going through stuff that is, you know, that I can fit into my park bag, but also things that I'll have on me at all times um, that I find I need essentially when I am in the park. So let's start with what I've got in the little uh, compartment in the front. Okay, so a few things that I like to keep in the front pocket. So basically, it's things that I might need that, um, you know, that I need to get in and out quite often or like little things that are small and might get um, lost in the bigger compartment. So first and foremost, I like to bring a pen. I like to always have a pen on hand. You never know when you'll need to write something down or fill out a form or something. So always like to have that on hand. Okay, and then in here, I always like to keep a pack of tissues. Tissues are so important. You'll either need to, you know, if you have allergies, you need to blow your nose. Uh, if you need to wipe your hands and you, you know, don't have paper towel or something or anything like that, use it as a napkin. These are just so, so useful. And I always like to have a little pack of Kleenex or tissues on me at all times. Okay. And then also I will always bring with me band-aids. This is a blistered band-aid and uh, these are so good. If you are developing blisters, you're doing a lot of walking in the parks and it's just so important to be prepared when your feet start to hurt. So I always will bring some band-aids with me. And I also have like regular band-aids as well, because you never know if maybe you might fall and trip and, you know, scrape your knee or get a cut or something random like that. It's always good to have these on hand. Then another thing that I've got in here. So medication wise, I like to always have a, a little bottle of Dremamine or in Canada, it's called Gravol. It's basically for motion sickness, that sort of thing. I don't get really motion sick on rides. However, I am, I have, um, I forget, I forget what the technical term is called for it, but I basically have a fear of throwing up. So anytime I start to feel nauseous, I will get really, really anxious. And then I will almost go into a full blown anxiety attack because of just that feeling. So when I'm going on rides, I feel like it's like almost like a trigger for my anxiety because I'm like, oh no, what if I'm going to, you know, feel sick or this and that. So as a precaution, I will usually just pop either um, one of these 
or I will um, take one of these um, ginger candies, which I also bring with me. Uh, these are just uh, ginger candies. They are hard candies that you can just suck on. And they are also ginger is also really good for um, when you are feeling nauseous. You can just suck on one of these. So, um, for example, when we went on Guardians of the Galaxy for the first time, I literally took... I took a uh, gravel or Dramamine. I had a gravel. I had a ginger candy in my mouth, and uh, I found that it really, really helps. And then I didn't feel anything at all, and I really didn't want to feel nauseous on the ride. I ended up being fine, of course, but um, I always like to come armed with with this stuff um, on hand. And it's also good too, like if you're ever, you know, kind of feeling nauseous and someone else in your party needs it, it's always good to have as well. So these are key for me, and then also. Pepto, I have, um, it'll either be Pepto, Kaopectate, any sort of, you know, stomach medicine. We learned on our last trip, we actually ended up getting some sort of stomach bug. Oh, who knows what it was, either food poisoning or something that we ate, whatever. But long story short, we were not feeling well. Our stomachs were upset for basically the entire trip and we actually hadn't brought any Pepto with us. So we ended up having to buy it there. Now I will always travel with either Pepto or some sort of, you know, Imodium as well. It is so important. I like to bring these into the park for that reason. So in case, you know, you're, you don't, you don't want to have bathroom issues, you know, ruining your good time, right? I also have in here some bottle of Advil for pain meds, uh, body glide. Body glide is really good. Um, it's like an anti-chafing stick. Usually I mostly will use this on my feet actually. So if I'm wearing shoes that I'm not wearing socks with, or sandals or something like that and I have like uh, friction points that I know might bother me I'll just throw this on before I put my shoes on you can reapply throughout the day and it really helps with you know keeping blisters at bay and stuff like that and it's really small easy to fit easy to carry with you I would really recommend bringing this along with you chapstick chapstick to me is like life or death if I do not have chapstick the whole day is ruined. Like I would have to literally buy one right away. So yes, chapstick, always have it on hand, keeps my lips, you know, nice and moisturized. And also, you know, my my lips are basically addicted to the stuff at this point. So I like to have it on hand. It's also good if you get the ones that are have built in SPF, you know, the UV rays are really, really high in Florida. You got to keep every part of you covered and safe and protected from the sun. So I'll either have it in my bag or I'll just put it in my pocket if, you know, my I'm wearing shorts that actually have pockets because, you know, if you're a girl, you know, you know, a lot of our clothes these days do not come with pockets or they come with pockets that are just not functional and it's so annoying. But anyways, and then um, what else do I got in the front pocket here? Um, I have... So hand sanitizer, I like to bring a little one like this. Um, I like I like this size or sometimes you can find, you know, hand sanitizer in like the travel section. I'll just pop that in there. It's just so important, you know, say, for example, you're in the parks, you know, you're touching a lot of stuff that other people have touched and you don't want other people's germs, obviously. So it's really good to have this on hand. You can quickly put it on if you aren't able to wash your hands, even if you're not going to be eating or whatnot, you are still, you know, you might be touching your face and that sort of thing. So it's just good to have this and um, you know get rid of the germs right so always have that on hand and then lastly another thing that I use as my anti-nausea um, arsenal is I actually sometimes will bring uh, essential oils with me this one in particular is peppermint and I find certain smells will either help me calm down like when I'm feeling anxious it'll also help me when I'm feeling the the nauseous feeling coming on um, my air just came on hopefully it's not too loud you don't put the oils actually like on your skin but sometimes you could just like even open the bottle I find oh it smells so good it, even just smelling it will calm me down or if I need it for let's say for example I'm on a ride or I'm going on a ride as well that might be like you know triggering my anxiety you can put a few drops of this on a on a tissue and um, I just will put it up to my nose inhale a few times and it, it really does calm me down so I find these scents you know different scents will, will do it for me uh, peppermint is one I have orange uh, sometimes lemon balm is really good so you know you find your scents that will calm you down and uh, this is really good to have on hand so let's move on to the a giant pocket in here bring a water bottle water bottle and staying hydrated is so important a lot of the parks will have refill water fountains that you can just go up and refill your water bottle I know the water doesn't always taste that great, uh, but you know, as long as it's cold, you or you know, you could also buy those little flavor packs, add some flavoring to the water. It really, really helps, but it's just 
so important to stay hydrated. Ziploc bags. Ziploc bags are good in a lot of ways. If you're going on a water ride and you're worried about certain things getting wet, like say, for example, your phone or your camera or, you know, anything that you don't want getting wet, just throw them in these Ziploc bags and uh, they'll be an easy waterproof solution. And then um, again, for more uh, cleanliness, we will have wet ones with us, little wet wipes. Uh, these ones in particular are antibacterial. So you can use them to, you know, wipe your hands, wipe down a table that you're sitting at or wipe down any area that uh, you'll be, you know, eating from or sitting at that just isn't really clean. These are really handy to have. And then of course, sunscreen. Always, 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 always have sunscreen in Florida. Again, UV rays are crazy. Usually before we leave the um, for the park, we'll put it on. It is good to always have sunscreen on hand. Um, when and if you need it wallet so this is um this one's like a little change purse it has a uh, you know little bambies on it i think it is so cute i think i got it actually from mini so sometimes they have cute little disney stuff this one in particular was really good because um since we are from Canada, uh, I like to keep our US dollar cash separate from our Canadian cash. So I would have this little one and usually I would just throw in the US dollar coins and the cash in here. And then I have another wallet that I could keep separate with like different cards and stuff. But this one I found really good. Like even though it doesn't have like little card slots or anything and just has this one pocket inside, I was able to find everything. Like you could put credit cards in here, you could put cards, you could put, you know, loose change, cash, everything like that. And it's still easy to get in and out of and easy to find stuff. So this is really nice to have like a little, little coin purse and a Tide pen, Tide or some sort of stain remover. If you know, you hate stains like my husband does there, I swear it's his nemesis um, on our last trip. He ended up sitting in some chocolate that he didn't see. And you know, sometimes Tide to go pen won't always remove everything like chocolate. That was a little bit more of a situation where you need some water, but say you're like have, you know, you drip some coffee on yourself or um, drip some sort of juice on yourself. This is really good for removing those, those types of stains. We always like to bring some sort of snacks. Snacks are important. These are just some granola bars. Sometimes we'll have fruit in there, nuts, trail mix, something that's easy and accessible and comes in like um, either pre-wrapped or something like that. That's small and you can just pull it out. It's good if you know you're in between meals and you're feeling peckish, you can just bring it with you in the bag and you can munch on it as you get hungry. So always like to have snacks. I feel like I'm a snacky person. So I always like to know that I have something to nibble on if I need to. And hand cream. This one is, of course, the H2O. They actually have these. I don't know if they're still giving them out in the hotels, but um, the, where we were staying, they had these uh, little travel size. So I would just pop this in my bag. I have chronically dry skin. Even in the humidity of Florida, my hands still get very dry. And every time I'm washing them, that sort of thing, they just... They stay dry. I don't know. It's it's a problem. I will always have some hand cream on hand um, for, you know, if you're prone to dry skin like me. If I'm going to be out late um, at night and I'm filming and, you know, the lighting is poor, this is really good. Um, and it's really cute because it's actually, you know, of course, it has, um, it has like Mickey ears on it and, um, you know, it just lights up and you has different um, three different light levels and it's just so good it um, adds you know some extra lighting in low light levels and it's um, portable easy as well and then this um, little it just can clip onto your phone or your camera it just adds some extra light if you are in low light levels so I do like to carry this with me if I'm going to be out at the parks at night then last but not least, uh, power banks. Power banks are very important nowadays if you're, because with Genie Plus and everything, we're using our phones so, so much more and the phone battery just goes down so fast. So, and of course too, like me, I'm filming as well and you're taking pictures and the, the, your phone battery is just gonna go down so fast. And especially if you don't plan on going back to your hotel, you know, in midday or that sort of thing, you're gonna find that your phone battery is just gonna die. So. Very important to bring a power bank with you. I have two different ones. One is actually lighter than the other. And this one's a bit heavier, but it's more powerful and can charge uh, two phones at once versus this one, which is um, it's lighter, more portable, easier to carry, but it can only charge one phone at one time. But yeah, these are important. And of course, make sure you bring your power or your um, charging cable, because obviously if you, you know, forget it, you're kind of SOL in that sense too. So make sure you have this and uh, yeah, then you won't have to deal with dying batteries. Other things too with like electronics, 
I don't film on an actual camera. I do all my filming on my phone at the moment. So another thing that I will be bringing um, to would be my stand, but can't actually show you that right now because I'm using it to film this video. So uh, yes, I do have my mount as well. And um, you know, a tripod, if you have like a small tripod, you uh, will probably want to bring that too. If you want to set up some shots, um, you have that as well. So that's really important to have. If you have, um, if you are using a camera, uh, make sure you have, you know, extra batteries or a memory card as well. You want to be sure you're bringing that. Those are the kind of the electronic stuff that I'll be bringing. And then lastly, um, the stuff that I will have on me um, that obviously I won't be having in my bag is, of course, you know, Magic Band. I got this one the last time, lovely pink color. And then, of course, sunglasses you'll want to have. Um, very important to keep your eyes protected in the sun. If I'm not wearing my uh, the lovely Mickey ears, then I will be having, I'll be wearing a hat. I like this one. It's white, keeps, reflects the sun and has a nice little cute mini bow on it. So I think I got this one off Amazon as well. So yeah, that's, that's basically everything that I'll be fitting into the bag, into the, it, these things are, they're small, but mighty. Like they can hold a lot of stuff, which I love about them. And they're, you know, they're just, backpacks and easy to carry and I, I just love it. So that is basically everything that I usually will be taking with me into the parks. Again, it's hopefully like it may seem like a lot, but again, it's just useful things that I might need. And I may not be bringing all of this in a park at one time. If I'm just going into the parks for, you know, an evening, I may cut down on a few things like sunscreen you're obviously not going to need in the evening, that sort of thing, so that I may leave aside. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what uh, other things you may be bringing with you into the park that maybe I didn't necessarily cover. I'm always looking for more suggestions and, you know, useful things um, and that sort of thing, so I'd love to hear from you on that. And yeah, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss any future Disney content like this to come. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.